and we're joined by Tony Adi, the CEO and founder of Phonotic. Thank you for joining us on Facebook. Thank you, Josh, for having me. It's been a great conference so far. It has been a great conference. So who have you seen so far at the conference that you've really loved, or who are you excited to see? Give me both. So we're, you know, as a semiconductor company innovating cooling and heating solutions with a hardware background, this whole content data-driven theme is somewhat new to us. But I really enjoyed the conversation last night with Netflix CEO as well as Microsoft's in terms of the big trends that they see coming because inevitably it roils down to where we play on the cooling and heating side of the world. So it was, uh, it was exciting for us to see the big trends that, that are impacting their business on content because our products determine how that content gets to you. And so for our friends on Facebook, tell us about Phenonic. So Phenonic innovates semiconductor driven products that provide cooling, heating and refrigeration by displacing compressors, heat sinks and fans, realizing product solutions that are sustainable, solid state and convenient. And what are some of the industries that Phenonic is going? So right now we're selling everything from individual device components mm -hmm. to fully integrated products to the fiber optic and telecom industries on our electronics business. And in refrigeration, we have full product solutions in pharmacy, healthcare, life sciences, and residential refrigeration as well. So we have a lot of young aspiring entrepreneurs that follow NASDAQ. What's one skill that you really think that any young entrepreneur needs today? Well, I would, I would say perseverance. I was in a session yesterday where they were talking about the chronically in the history of Facebook and, and Google. Mm -hmm. And my, my, my dilemma sometimes with entrepreneurialism is we tend to romanticize the classical examples like that. And the reality is those tend to be few and far between in terms of how entrepreneurialism really is. This is a lifestyle choice. It is. And up front, you need to be honest with yourself about the impact it has on you, your friends, your family, and factor that into your decision making before you just launch your own business. I agree. Tony, do you think everyone is built to be an entrepreneur or certain people? Well, again, in the, in the over-dramatization of what we do for a living, the belief that leaders are born and not made or entrepreneurs are born and not made, I don't believe that. If, if yeah. you have a, a, a strong belief and a passion and a commitment to building a respective business, everyone can be an entrepreneur. The challenge is recognizing your deficiencies in filling those through the rest of your team. So at NASDAQ, we talk a lot for entrepreneurs about the importance of someone opening the door for them, the importance of mentors. Is there a mentor that really helped you along your career path? Well, I've had several. Uh, you know, I started my career in research and development, then moved into venture capital, and then became an entrepreneur and operator. And really, at the outset of Phononic, two investor groups at Venrock and Oak Investment Partners, two blue chip Silicon Valley names, took a chance on a first time CEO. Wow. And Matt Trevithick and Brian Hinman were two of my early board members, along with Bruce Son a 25-year semiconductor veteran, and the three of them not only backed me, but really provided that constructive mentorship that I needed to become an effective CEO. What was it like, that transition from venture capital to being a founder? Oh, it was, it was exciting. The venture fund I was at, what I miss is evaluating all different technologies every day of the week, mm -hmm. but the transition for me was, was seamless. I, I, I love being an entrepreneur. I love building and organizing teams and disrupting latent industries. So for me, it was, a, it was a relatively easy one to transition from evaluating multiple technologies to ultimately driving one business. So Phenonic is on the cutting edge of technology. What technological innovation are you waiting on? What's, what are you excited about? Well, it's a canned answer seeing everything that I've seen here, but between augmented reality and, and some of the artificial intelligence that's developing, I find it fascinating. Um, and I, I, I don't know how it will play out. Um, but it has ramifications for our business, which is exciting. But I think the one that I'm, I'm most waiting on, because I struggle as to how I would do it, is driverless cars. Same. Like most entrepreneurs, I'm a control freak, so I can't imagine giving up the steering and control functionality of my car to the car itself. So I'm amazed at the amount of investment that's going into it, and I'm skeptical that it will take off in that manner. But I, I hope to be proven wrong. I hope we're proven wrong, too. Tony, thank you so much for joining us on Facebook Live. And Facebook, if you want to learn more about Phenotic, click over to their Facebook page. Thanks, there'll be lots more coming from Wall Street Journal Live here in Laguna Beach.